Okay, so Sylvia's retrieving the data logger. And that's two of the 14 collected. Look at this water level, Steph. This water, maybe be watching this video, you're watching any of, any of our other videos of Rock Spring, this is the lowest we've seen it. Which is unbelievable odd because we've been having so much rain. I'm just wondering if they managed to open up a sluice gate no. a bit or something. Where all the water has gone. It's cold. And we're in. Yay. to flag here.
Okay, we just had one hell of a time finding our way through the labyrinth again. When we went out that way last time, January, or whenever the hell it was, I put flags like every five, six meters. Every one of them gone. Washed out or whatever. So we had a hell of a time finding our way through until we finally found the flag furthest at this end. Now we have just reached the first logger, which they're marked H. <coughs> and these are the loggers. Closest to the labyrinth. So from when we came down the hole, those were the last waters we placed. Because I didn't bring the notebook to write things down here because we had to be the swim. So logger H right there. So we got the two outside ones. Now we've got the next pair on the inside. And fungus gnats like you wouldn't believe coming through the labyrinth area again today. But we did find our way through. Again, now we gotta go up far end, uh, upper level guano chambers, and then come back through, and I put a whole heap of flag on the way in here so we can find our way out fairly quickly, straight through. But it is absolutely impossible to commit that section to memory. Absolutely impossible. We've been through there, I don't know, like four or five times now, man. Every time it's like, where the hell This is a are complex, we? deadly cave. Anybody who, who doesn't have a lot of experience with caves, do watch these videos. Like this one today, Rock Spring, you come in that damn entrance. You die. You will die you, in this cave. You make sure you're flagging or something, man, or you will just go in circles until your lights die and you will never come out. This cave can kill you. He was actually calling to you guys that G is here. Steph, yeah. look at this. The water came up to the loggers. The water was this high. Jesus fucking Christ. Incredibly. That's why the fucking flags are gone. Incredible. That's why the flags are gone. The water was this high. In this area here. Mercy. Can you imagine the sound in here? Let's just take these off. Well. No, no. Um, yeah, just take it from there. We leave it on the wires. Okay, and these are marked. Is the marking still survive? Yeah, this is G. G. Okay, you recording, Jeff? Yeah? yeah, yeah. Okay, we're just around the corner from H. And we just collected this G pair. Unbelievable. I never would have thought it. Me neither. This whole section was underwater. Yep. No. Look at the tracks. Yeah. As we're going water. There it is. Good. This one is clean. Yeah. Okay, loggers labeled E are at the uh, upstream end of the clayway. These ones do not appear to have gotten submerged.
Can you light up Sylvia? Yeah, that's the first thing. Okay, what's this number here, Steph? Water submerged these two. Maybe, maybe not. What a crap on it. Okay, these are O or D. Ah. Here, take this. Okay, so Sylvia climbed up to that thick guano slope there, which you can't see really. Yeah, that's over to and she retrieved B. It's covered in back guano. Oh, you mean the logger is covered in back plano? Yeah. Yeah, it's down there and over to the left. Okay. And that's a hell of a steep climb down there. And the two tough guys are going to sit it out and the tougher girl is going to do it. Yeah, yeah. Well, she's the fit one. She no smoke. And she spins. She spins. I spin. That's right. And I play squash. So there's a dry bag full of dirty bat guano covered loggers. Well done, Sylvia. Thank you. Okay, so what do we got for uh, letters on them? Don't you reach? Must be A. Come up, cave girl. Come up. Well done. All right, here we are. Okay, what do we got for letters? Dig into that. And the letter is C. 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 And it's clean. Yes. C for complete. And C is down and from the upper... And that's from the dead end chamber there. The upper level guano chambers. But a lower part of it. The, the, the down the slope. Yeah, yeah, and it's a dead end chamber there. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so this is the slope down to the second level or the main level from... Steph, you have your tactical light? Yeah. Just shoot it down to the bottom past Sylvia yep. so we can see the idea of how high we are. And down there. Yeah, so... Yeah, let me put this up. Nothing really to put in the scale, but... Yeah, uh, so how high would you say? It's 30, 40 feet. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, look at this carving on the wall, Steph. What yeah. is that? I, it's, I think it's a master survey point. This is the kind of symbol you'd usually get for a benchmark. So I think they were using this to establish elevation at least. I wonder what they used to carve that. They came back yeah, with a know. chisel and a hammer. Yeah, it looks so. Yeah, yeah.
きそうね424. Mm. Well, I suppose this is a beer at 430. Maybe it's beer about 430. Alright, guys. Mission accomplished. Yeah. Yahoo. Mm -hmm. Yahoo. Steph is platin is here. Here you go, Steph. Take out your braids, them, Steph. You're doing a little here, do stuff. The cave mess up your hair, stuff. <laughs> stuff, this is not the time to be putting in bread, stuff. <laughs> Throw. Yeah. Yeah. And Sylvia's draining her boots. Yeah. So what happens is you take one flower and then these come out of the original flower yeah. to become new plants. I don't think I've seen this plant before. Well, you see, you see the single flowers over yeah, there? Yeah, yeah, the yeah. It's the same thing. Okay. That's the chapter. Yeah. 4.30. Evidence of beryl is strewn across the, the track. Multiple trees. Still some cleanup to do out here. Okay, 22. It took us three hours. Not bad, man. Not bad at all. Let me? Mm -hmm. How does... What do you press again? Nothing. Okay. It films? It's on? Mm -hmm. It's filming? It's recording? Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. How are Jan? Yeah. How was the day? Oh, the day was a dream for me because I have been dreading all week having to climb that tough hill with that 100 meter rope and with hurricane and all the rain that field and the forest must be bushed up. Just by luck we decided to check on the loggers that we had left outside at the dam entrance. We wouldn't have dreamed that the dam entrance would have been opened. So Sylvia and I walked down there to get the logger and lo and behold there's a big opening there in the river going into the hillside. So that made the day, that cut hours out of our trip today and no 70 meter climb up the, the rope at the end of all of that. Got all our loggers, took us three hours from departure to arrival back, and now it's time for some Milo or Horlicks or something like that. <laughs> mm -hmm. some distilled water, please. Distilled water for you, Steph? Yeah, I might just not drink anything at all. I drank enough river water in there. Sparkling water mm -hmm. for me, I think. And yeah. tell us what the cave was like in there today. Ah, uh, the cave was... Well, water levels reached where we never dreamed they would have reached. Height in there. It, Why was that? Hmm? When the, well, from, because of happened? barrel and all of the rain since. But it pushed the bats into different areas in the cave where we didn't experience them before. And there was a ton of wet slushy guano and the, the gnats, the flying gnats that get in your nose, your throat, your eyes, your ears. I wore my mask, had to wear it today. Um, that was the most uncomfortable thing in there. It's a tough cave to walk because it's a lot of rocks, break down rocks, so you have to walk very carefully. Smooth, and it's tough. slippery. Yeah, smooth and slippery, tough. There are some climbs up some boulders that, boy, a fall there could break a back or a leg. But um, being the pros we are, we knocked it off. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, so. And we um, have no real need to go back to Rock Spring no, anytime soon. No, I, There's still the dam top hole that we found. It would be nice to check out, see where it actually connects down there, because it sure seems to. We still got to do Maga Dog, which is further up the road that way, but uh, Rock, Rock Spring, Spring is, is pretty, pretty much close done. to being a done deal. Yeah, we yeah. have to move on. We've been working this before the pandemic started. Yeah. Yeah. 
So we've put a lot of years in here and time to move on. Yeah, you record. All right. No, no, so no. No, you you record, Steph. You record. No, so no, record. no, no, you record, Steph. Okay. Here, it's recording. So, okay. get your bear and we can edit all this out. Oh, I put the AC on the window or something. <laughs>